Expo West has wrapped for another year and it's a tradition of mine to camp for a night on our way back north to Montana. I pitched an idea to Onyx Off-Road to show you how we use the app to plan a route and find a campsite for the night. So I've decided to text a friend that I've never been able to camp with and have wanted to for some time. With Mike from Last Line of Defense in, I send him a pen for our morning meetup to go over maps and pick a trail to go for. So, today, we're planning our... Got a little. Yeah. You know, So Mike and I chatted a little bit more last night, and uh, <clears throat> through some through some dialogue, we're like, you know what? We both got to go a lot further north. Really need to decide where to go next. So the way we're doing that is pop on the app, find out where we are currently, Flagstaff, Arizona, and we just looked where he lives and where I live, and the best route between the two. So we're thinking that if we could get five or six hours of driving in today, that'll put us somewhere in Utah. So he lives in Colorado, I live in Montana. Moab route is right up the middle, so we'll kind of look towards that. Yep. And now we just gotta figure out what that is. Pick the trail. Pick the trail. So I don't think we wanna go as far as Moab. I think five hours from here, we're looking at just south of Moab. So we can go into that area, go to the discovery in that area, and find things that other people, other users have already identified and put on the map. And then, once we find it, we'll route to it. Technical rating, the difficulty is moderate. It's a five out of 10. Total time, four hours to get in there. Four hours? Four hours. So we may... Huh. Hmm. Okay. That helps to know because you might think, oh, I can go do that, but someone actually puts in how long it'll take, and uh, I don't know, that might be a little bit too much. So this right here, this is the Arch, Arch Canyon. Mm-hmm. Easier so trail, Hotel but... Rock is right here to get to Hotel, you know, that's okay. the upper trail, right? Yep. But down below is down in the draw, so like that's a really steep draw. Mm hmm And then down in here, so it's Arch Canyon Ruin. This looks like a good fallback. Three out of 10. Right there, it's eight miles. And look at this, this looks awesome. Yeah, I may have they have more spots to kind of camp along the way. So I'm going to make a new offline, offline map, new map. I'm going to title it Mike's Bodacious Camping Trip. Clay and Mike's Bodacious Camping Trip. Yeah, I like it. Okay. All right. Cool. Well, I'll send you the pin. <coughs> Sounds good. And I'm going to share it. Boop. So we've just completed our road section and I've just got onto the trail. So I'm tracking on Onyx right now, down onto the trail. Uh, that way I can see how far I've gone and uh, let's see, we've got some campsites that are up the way. The road's really good for right now. We're just gonna burn up this uh, dirt road, see how far in here we can get, maybe find some more technical trails, see how far we can go with the daylight that we got left our turn to either go up high up on the top, or oh, I can see the road over there, cut into the side of the hill, that's pretty cool. Staying low will get us, keep us out of the wind, I think. Up top might be pretty brutal. It's, uh, it's 448, I don't know. Maybe the arches is pretty long, maybe we just uh, drive on that kind of easier road until we find a pretty spot. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, came up on our first obstacle here which is just a muddy piece of road. There we go. More low. There we are. No worries. Putting the X3s to work today. Oh yeah, I got a tire off the ground.
Mike, add just uh, just try adding a little bit of brake pressure. Yeah, I'm going to go on to four low real quick. Okay. I'm just going to hit it with a little more speed. <laughs> I'll give him a little more room. <laughs> Woo! When you're wheeling by yourself, it's a whole different thing than when you're in convoy or with, you know, buddies. Especially when you're by yourself in the car. And then it's a whole other thing to be towing a trailer. And when you're towing a trailer, all these trails turn into a different trail because you gotta position the vehicle different than, you know, you normally would. You gotta swing wider, you gotta watch a third axle. I think it's a lot of fun. As we continue into Arch Canyon, we caught a glimpse of some ancestral Puebloan ruins along the cliff wall. The location, though less secure than above, provided natural cooling in the summer and heat in the winter next to the cliff and easy access to the creek bottom. This entire area is littered with these types of ruins and makes for an incredible area to overland and explore. So right now we're way out of cell service, there's nothing here. And this is why it's important to uh, just cache your maps before you go into your areas of operation so that uh, when you do get here, you still have all your full detailed maps, which is what we're running on right now. Pretty surprised there hasn't been any real camp spots through here. It looks promising, like there might be something and then it doesn't show up. But yeah, I'd say probably snag the next decent camp spot. I'm thinking we got, let's see, it's 5.30, I think we got two hours of light. You know what's interesting is the whole African trip, I didn't go through anything really like this. Like, so it's so unique in the world what we got right here. Yeah, I mean, this is, is kind of interesting. I haven't driven a ton of trails in the U.S. like this. Rounding the next corner, we settle for a little area right off the trail to make camp for the night. You good for me to pull in? Roger. Hard this way. There we go. Three, two, one, stop. I <laughs> think that'll work. The old jackknife trick. Home sweet home. I'm going to pause my recording and so we went approximately five and a half miles up the trail. Mike, I'm going to save this track so I remember it forever. Special place. Camping. Our first time. Our first time. It was our first time. It's everything I hoped it would be. Me too. This is a good trail. It's beautiful down in here. Found a good spot to camp and I'm getting kind of hungry, so I think we're gonna cook something up. I'm not sure what yet. Maybe meals in a bag. Mmm, heck yeah. Grandma's recipe. Super good. Uh, on a night like tonight, coming into here, it was awesome to have been able to have done a little research and know that the trail was good to go. A couple of the spots up in there were fairly tight. A little tight. It was nice you could download download the maps offline so you could Critical. still see all of the terrain and the topo as mm -hmm. we were driving through to kind of see if it looked like it opens up up here or whatnot. That yep. was nice. When you're at the house or at the coffee shop, it's quick to download. Yeah. And you gotta have it. So yeah. yeah. Well, well cheers. Nice. Cheers to a good day. Cheers, mate. Cheers. And uh, drive safe tomorrow. Thank we'll you. hang out tonight. Yeah. A little cobbler go. later. Oh yeah, a little cobbler. Mm. It's a good night. Looking so. forward to it. Yeah. There you have it. You have a good night too. As you can see, planning and executing a small trip is no big deal, and it's easy with the right tools. So grab a friend, make a plan, and go camping. And if you still haven't downloaded Onyx Off-Road, save 20% with our code at checkout.